Farag, who is attending the UN Convention Against Corruption held in Sharm el-Sheikh. This time, the interview is with the Honorable Mulambo Hainbi, the Zambian Minister of Justice. Let's take a look. So on the sidelines of this uh, gathering, we have the honor to have uh, with us on ITV International uh, minister, the Minister of Justice uh, of uh, Zambia, Mr. Uh, uh, Mulambo uh, Haimbe. Great pleasure, a great honor to have uh, uh, this interview on ITV International. Thank you. Actually, the pleasure is all mine. Um, it's, it's nice to be here in the beautiful resort of Sharm El Sheikh, and we are very, very grateful with the people of Egypt in the way they've received us. We are quite at home here. Thank you a lot uh, for your presence. Yes. And uh, let me um, ask you this question. Yes. There is a record uh, when we are talking about participation. Mm. Uh, the number exceeded 2,200 persons here in this participation. Mm. What does that mean to you? Well, to me, it means that uh, obviously uh, the whole world is looking at the issue of corruption from a different perspective. Uh, previously, I believe that there's been a lot of uh, self-interest by various nations, by various states parties, um, because uh, perhaps they thought that you would fight corruption best with the internal efforts. But it, the reality is that uh, corruption is now a global phenomenon. Yeah. Um, one could, uh, for example, get money, um, get ill-gotten wealth out of their own economy and then hide it in somebody else's country. So if we don't come together globally, as we have done today, um, then we'll have, uh, uh, the, the problem will continue. It's, it's not only about the poor countries, um, it's now about everybody. Yeah. And that, I think, is a realization. Looking especially at the, at the speeches that we have, we've had over the last two days, you can hear the general theme is that we want to cooperate together to kill this scourge, because ultimately, uh, corruption has an if impact directly on the lives of those uh, whose resources are taken away by, yeah. the, by the very, very selfish few. Yeah. So I think that's part of it. And uh, of course, another big part is the fact that we're in Sharm El Sheikh. I mean, everybody loves <laughs> yeah. to be in a beautiful place like this. Yes. So the, the reputation of the city precedes it. Yeah. And uh, we're grateful to be here, as I said earlier on. Thank you a lot. And, and uh, uh, we are here uh, uh, in this gathering. Uh, uh, there is some questions about uh, the COVID, the context. Mm. The bad context, the bad mm. situations imposed by COVID mm. and uh, uh, how COVID makes more and more opportunities of corruption mm. and all over the world, especially in Africa. Yes. So how did you see uh, this and uh, uh, how uh, you and your government and your institution uh, can mm. get off of this bad context uh, uh, mm. in order to fight well yes. that corruption. Yes, thank you. It is very true that uh, COVID uh, has had different effects. Uh, for instance, uh, one of the effects is even in the procurement process yeah. of uh, the medicines and the, the necessary equipment. Uh, we've had difficulties in our country, for example, in the past over that, with the earlier waves. So one of the things is to ensure uh, we are a new government, for those that may not know, the, the, the government, current government of the Republic of Zambia was only voted in on the 12th of August. So we are just shy of four months of being in administration. But we've taken a very serious approach to dealing with matters of corruption. So we're working on capacity building, we're working on ensuring that there are integrity committees yeah. in, in these various um, uh, uh, government and quasi-governmental institutions, including the private sector is being encouraged. And more importantly, we're learning best practice from those that have been there before. Uh, and uh, also, it is now a global village, and so the use of in, um, ICTs. Yeah, this, this is uh, uh, also one of my questions. Yes. Digitalization yes. represents now one of uh, the, uh, the efficient mm. means mm. in order to uh, get rid mm. of this disease, the corruption. Yes. That is true. And uh, just, just at this conference, we, we just had a, a very interesting module mm. in uh, one of the sessions in terms of uh, uh, recovery of, of stolen assets. Yeah. And uh, one of the things that we, we learned about, we talked about, was the actual use of digitalization as a means of fighting corruption. Mm. So there's a lot we're learning. There's a lot we're doing. There's a lot more we can learn. Other things that we have done is, um, of course, we've put in place a fast-track mechanism uh, in our country, Zambia, for the recovery of stolen assets. Uh, 
we're using both the civil and the criminal uh, proceedings as a way of recovering those assets because at the end of the day, uh, a school child in a rural part of Zambia yeah. uh, will lose out on education, will lose out on health facilities if we don't fight this scourge. So we've got fast track courts as a Ministry of Justice. That's one of the things that uh, we are working on, of course, with other ministries to ensure that we bring a complete end-to-end -end process in the fight against corruption. Yeah. Um, I, would, I would say if it was in another world that it's exciting <laughs> to, to, to do all this. But then, of course, we understand that corruption is a scourge. So we, we, we just must look at it at a, uh, from a very, very serious perspective. Yeah. Uh, about this point, uh, how uh, governments can uh, insert the prevention against uh, uh, corruption? Mm -hmm. In their uh, in their planning uh, yes. about developments and uh, their planning about economic growth, yes, yes. So um, one of the things we have done very recently, we had the uh, United Nations International Day Against Corruption, which we were celebrating, and uh, one of our uh, core core partners from the civil society, known as Transparency International Zambia, came up with certain mo modules, modalities. Uh, amongst them, there were there was seven, seven uh, aspects to that declaration. Amongst them is, uh, believe it or not, the use of the youth. Mm. Why must the youth be involved? Because we're dealing with the nursery. Yes. If we start Education. to change the mindset, yes. And oh. that is one of the best preventative measures that one can think of. Mm. If we start to change the mindset of our young people from the word go, then uh, it's more, more likely that we will not see this sort of greed that we see with the older generation. I'm sorry to say that. Uh, so that is one of the preventive measures. Another, as I mentioned, is uh, putting in of integrity committees and so on and so forth. Mm. Those various other methods. Uh, but for me, uh, what I really believe in as the Minister of Justice is to start from the nursery, from the very young yes. people. So that by the time we're talking about 10, 15, 20 years, a generation away from now would have put in the mind that these are public assets for everybody to enjoy and yeah. not for people to corruptly get them and benefit for, on their own. Yeah. So that to me is one of the keys, yes. Yes, you know that uh, our continent is the richest one yes. in the world mm. and our citizens the poorest. The poorest. Mm. So there is some points of corruption and some po uh, other points, yes. But how we can uh, also fight these points of corruption in order to make citizens, African citizens, more and more comfortable in their life? Um, I think also one of the other things that can be done is to have robust institutions, um, institutions of oversight, must be robust, they must be independent, they must yeah. be able to function. Yes. Uh, there must be a lot more transparency in any public procurement uh, that we undertake. And uh, of course, uh, there is the need for everyone yes. to, to accept that it is not a fight for the law enforcement agencies or for the government. It's not uh, about implementing law, laws. Uh. Uh, it's, uh, it, yes, of course, implementation is a key part, but yeah. everybody must play their part, must play their role. At the end of the day, it's uh, us against uh, the few corrupt. Then we can see progress going forward. Minister of uh, Justice of uh, uh, Zambia, yes. thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks a lot for, for this interesting interview. I'm grateful that you took time to speak with me. I hope uh, we were able to have a good discussion for the viewers out there to enjoy. Thanks a Thank lot. Thank you very much. And Thank have you. a pleasant uh, remainder of the next few days. Thank you. Thank you. And that was our correspondent, Haini Farag, speaking to the Zambian Minister of Justice, the Honorable Mulambo Hainbi, who is attending the uh, ninth session of the Conference of State Parties to the UN Convention Against Corruption held in Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt, till the 17th of December. And that's all the time we have.